Liking the flow and the way that it's pouring. Watching my dough, her body I'm adoring. Like she see it go. Welcome to this waist workout video. We're starting with side plank pull. This is going to work the muscles in your waist a little bit to make them tighter, but not so much that you start to look bulky and looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know what I mean? We are going to switch so that you have a balance and you don't have a sexy waist on one side and a saggy waist on the other side. You know we're all about balance here. In just a minute, we're going to move into plank jacks. This is actually easier without a mat, but I'm trying to be all fancy for you guys, so I have a mat. This is really good for burning any fat that is holding you back in your midsection area. Just think about all that fat burning away, melting away, and all your sexy bursting through. Mm -hmm. Are you still with me? Good, good. Just keep going. We're almost there. Almost done with this exercise. Keep going. Don't stop. Good job. Okay, get ready to move into Russian twists. Russian twists are great for making your waist smaller. They are a requirement in any waist workout video. If you want to make this harder, you can actually lift your feet off the mat. I will not be doing that because your girl is struggling already, okay? Just look at that, you're already halfway through the Russian twist, you're doing such a great job. You are already looking hot, Halle Berry ain't got nothing on you, I am so proud. Just keep going, just a few more seconds, and then we're going to switch into the next exercise. Go, 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 keep good, good job. The next exercise is jumping oblique twists. This is another one that's going to help burn any fat that is covering up your greatness. We will not let that happen. You are looking amazing already. To do this exercise, just pretend you're happy and you're having a jolly good day and you're going to see the Wizard of Oz and you know, just twist and jump. Just jump, jump, twist, twist, jump, jump, twist, twist, good job. To get the best result from this particular waist exercise, you want to make sure that you have just a slight bend in your knee at all times. You are looking so good. I am so proud of you. Get ready to get back on the floor because we are doing bicycles next. Bicycles will help pull your stomach in and make your whole waist area cinched and tighter. Keep your core tight, keep your lower back on the floor, and just touch your elbows to your thigh.
Have you seen those really cute shirts where they like cut out some holes in the waist area? Well, with this waist workout, you will be able to wear those shirts and those dresses. So just keep thinking about that. I have a red one that I'm thinking about right now. Get ready to turn around and go back into plank jacks in just a few seconds. We're burning fat, people. We're doing good. Just hang in there. We're almost done with this workout, actually. This waist workout is almost over. Your greatness is just in front of you. You are there already. It's within reach. Let's go, people. Okay, so when you're doing plank jacks, your hip is supposed to be way lower than mine is right now. So if you can, try to be more, a bit closer to the floor than I am. But you guys know I'm forever struggling in these videos. It's always a struggle. So just, I'm just like you, okay? I'm not, mm -mm. let's just do our best. You're doing good, I'm doing good, we're all good. I'm so proud of you. Look how far you've come. Okay, get ready for raised leg crunches. When I'm doing my raised leg crunches, I like to do them really slowly and hold at the top as you see me doing. You don't have to do it this way. This makes it a lot harder. You can just do regular up and down, up and down without holding at the top. But if you can, try to hold at the top. It's kind of like getting two for the price of one. And who doesn't like a good deal, you know? Watch out, Halle Berry. We are coming for you with our tiny ways. <laughs> Just keep going. We're almost done, I promise. This is almost the end. Get ready for those jumping oblique twists again. Make sure you keep that slight bend in your knee and just twist your waist as you jump side to side. Keep your core area as tight as you can. At this point, you're feeling a bit tired. Your waist is probably a bit sore, but it's all good because we're doing it for the prize. Eyes on the prize. Just 30 seconds to go. Can you believe that? You did that. You did that. Have I told you I'm proud of you? I'm proud of you. You're doing a good job. Get ready for the next exercise. With this next waist exercise, you want to keep a slight bend in your knee, keep your core tight, try not to swing your hips at all, let your waist do all the work and just twist from side to side. This is such a great waist exercise. I think it belongs in almost any waist workout program. It's so good. Another way to think about this exercise is like you're duking it out with all the fat. You're duking it out with your waist like, I'm gonna get you oh, uh, uh, uh. You are at the finish line. You worked out today. Aren't you so proud? After this, there's one more and we are done with this waist workout. Donezo. Done. Finito. Jumping oblique twist. This is the last one we're doing. Less than a minute. You're done. You're done working out for the day and you can be proud of that.
All right, you guys, this is it. It's been fun working out with you. Thank you for working out with me. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out my website. If you like my leggings, check out my website. And I'll see you in my next workout video.